Well, hello gamers, it's Mortuari here, and welcome back to another episode of Ark on the Pugnacia server. And yes, it has been a while since I have been playing any Ark. Actually, I have been fooling around a bit on the Ark server, but I didn't really publish any videos yet. And with a few of the updates that reached the Pugnacia server, like up updates to the S Plus stuff, I wanted to get back to it because I had always wanted to have a water base. And now that the S Plus mod has the underwater base thingies, I thought it might be a good idea to come back and do some building. But first of all, I will need some uh, some default base to start with, some a little thing where I can place all my stuff on. And I have chosen this spot here. Let me show you. Uh, I have chosen this spot on the map, of course, somewhere up there in the little bay, and the idea is to build something in this little bay which will extend outwards and probably reach deep water somewhere up there and I wanted to try something I wanted to really try something like for example in uh, in Conan I have been using some rounded uh, rounded towers to create uh, some buildings and I wanted to expand on that and see if I can make something special with uh, with triangles and squares so the the goal is actually to have a... Ah, oh, this is gonna be tough. The goal is actually to have a, a ground floor thingy which looks a little bit like a flower shape. So, yeah. The idea is to start from here. So I will be placing... I thought it was somewhere up here. The middle was somewhere up here. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle. It would be nice, but yeah. It doesn't really have to be. So... I'm starting this whole thing by putting up six triangles which make the basic shape I've been using to build around the tower. Next up I will be placing some uh, squares around that like this. I can get rid of this one. I don't really need this one anymore. I can demolish it. It doesn't matter. Demolish. There. Put up a square. Yes. And demolish this one as well. Demolish. Put up a square. And then fill up the gaps with triangles. No. Fill up the gaps with triangles, of course. Let me do that really quick. There, now we have the basic rounded shape and now it's time to build outwards. So let me see if I have enough stuff on me and I will get back to you guys once I have everything I need. So normally I would extend outwards from uh, the square and put up a triangle and... F uh, yes. Expand outwards from a triangle, put up a square and fill up the gaps with triangles. This time I'm gonna build triangles all around the thing. So, like this, yes, yes, yes. Like that. Next step is to fill the gaps with squares, but sadly I don't have enough squares, actually. Like this, like this, like this, like this. And sadly, I will have to go farm some more stuff in order to get more of these. Uh-oh. I see a Rexy. So I'm back down. So it's time to continue placing these square thingies in the gaps. Uh, yes, square, yeah. Actually, I could destroy these as well. I don't really need that anymore. There, we're done with that part. Yep, I think it's starting to look good. Next up, I'm gonna be putting two triangles in every new gap I've created. Like this, two triangles, up, two triangles. And I hope, uh, I hope I got uh, the center of the whole thing 
a little bit correct that I won't be too close to the edge on that side. I still have plenty, plenty of room on the other side, but I'm kind of seeing that I'm getting close to the other side, so probably a bad calculation on my part. There, we're done with that too. Yeah, I think I didn't choose the center perfectly, but it doesn't matter for now. Next up, we're going to be placing some more stuff. Let's head out to the triangles we just placed. It's now a matter of placing some squares and filling up the gaps with triangles like this. Oh, yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, it might have been easier if I went back to the center, actually. Yes. So, this one has the triangles up here. Yes, which means I need this, this, and fill up the gaps. Yeah, it would probably be easier if I go back to the center. So, I did these two already. Same thing with this one. Head out. Find the two triangles I just placed. Put up the squares fill up the gaps with triangles oh, i'm out of triangles again put up a square on these sides and fill up the gaps with triangles go back to the center it's a little bit if you, easier if you go back to the center oh no And I think this is the last one. Actually, we have done it. Okay, I'm trying to extend it one more outwards. And the way I'm currently doing it is, is by extending the squares one more out and then filling up the gaps with, uh, with triangles. We'll see how that goes because I have no idea how it will look. But at least it will give me a little bit more room to do stuff and place uh, building components later on. Well, building components, uh, place... Uh, my uh, crafting stations and other things so that's what i'm doing currently uh, i hope i will have enough of these actually crap yep yeah. uh, i have no idea who came to visit but someone have has a big dragon <laughs> someone was bringing a dragon to the party Sparry has been here and he, he was so kind to give me actually a, a an archer he had tamed for me, which is great, which is amazing. Now I, at least I have an, an archer to fool around with. And let me check. I should be pretty... Oh, no. I was just about to say I should be pretty much done with this. Ah, oh, really? You have to be kidding me. I'm missing one. Two, two of these triangles. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't think I have uh, the materials to do anything else. Let me check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I have a small flower-shaped uh, base now, but I think I will be trying to experiment a little bit and see if I can expand. So let me try a few things, and I will get back to you in a few minutes. <laughs> Let's go back to that little place Where we used to go in the summer days We dip our feet at the water's edge And everyone would come along to meet us there A competition to see who can trap for longer Cause every year my body's getting stronger We can swim all day and dance into the night But we're not coming home till the moonlight shines Till the moonlight shines do do do, -do.
Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. The lodge by the water still my favorite place, and I could come every year, and it wouldn't change. Well, folks, here it is. <clears throat> you have seen me lay uh, the basic uh, setup, but then I started experimenting and yeah, freewheeling and expanding it outwards. But I still ended up with something which looks like a, little, a little bit like a like a flower. It has some patterns in it. Uh, that's something I discovered now. I see some ellipses. I see some uh, some uh, circular things. I see plenty of things, but the total shape firms a flower so i'm quite happy with that uh, i think that's enough building for today uh, i won't be uh, doing the rest of the build today i will probably be raising it up uh, putting walls outside and yeah experimenting a little bit with things i can do with the ceilings and of course uh, i will be removing the center part because that's the area where i want to go down under the water and see if i can build something up there and under water pen but i think for today this is going to be it actually so I think it's time to wrap up today's episode. I've been uh, trying hard to get a nice shot, but the uh, shadows are actually pretty darn ugly up here. So I'm, uh, I took the bird to the sky so you can see it from the top. It looks li like a flower and I think I did pretty good job on center. It, mm, it's in the bay as well. It's pretty much centered. So yeah, I think... I think I did a great job, so it's time to wrap it up for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to post those in the comment section below the video. While you are there, check the description. That's where you'll find links to the social media pages, links to the Patreon page, and the links to the other crazy folks and creative misfits guys as well. And while you are there, feel free to also subscribe to the channel. Not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the channel. That being said, it's time to wrap up today's episode. So until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.